community are mourning the loss of four people, including a set of three year old twins who were killed in a catastrophic crash. We've been following this story since it happened Friday evening near Rock Hill. Thank you for joining us here at 11. I'm Naya Harden. This crash happened Friday evening on Saluda Road near State Highway 321. Sheriff's deputies say a woman heading east crossed the center line and collided with a vehicle heading west with two children inside. Now tonight, the daycare both Mariah and Mackenzie Hughes attended is honoring them with this new tribute. WBTV's Erica Lunsford shares the emotional message and how people living near where the crash happened say tragedies like this are becoming more common. Here outside of the daycare where Mariah and Mackenzie attended, you can see a memorial that was created by family and friends. You can see balloons, stuffed animals, rocks, and candles just showing how much the girls are loved and missed and how much the community is hurting from this tragedy. This is the emotional message posted by the daycare on Facebook Sunday afternoon. Right Choice Child Development Center LLC says it's devastated and heartbroken over the girls' deaths. In the post, leaders also share photos of Mariah and Mackenzie. They were only three. And that just broke my heart. The news of the crash that killed four people from Friday evening has many living along Saluda Road and State Highway 324 emotional, but unfortunately not totally surprised. This stretch of road is very dangerous. You see people um, driving too fast. Investigators with the York County Coroner's Office say 39 year old Kristen Aggard crossed the center line while traveling east and crashed into 30 year old Tyonese Hughes who had her three year old twin girls, Mariah and Mackenzie, in the back seat. I spoke to several neighbors who live along this curve that we're talking about. They say, unfortunately, it's common for car accidents to happen here. Hunter hopes something will be done to save lives down the road. I know a policeman or highway patrolman can't be in this area all the time but I think they need to start being in this area a little more and hopefully that will slow people down. We reached out to the daycare. We have yet to hear back from them, but in terms of the investigation, we do know there's a toxicology and pathology report that is pending. We will continue to bring you the latest on the story as soon as it comes in. Reporting in Rock Hill, Erica Lunsford, WBTV on your side.